Hi everyone and welcome back to the Brick Pods. It's really sunny here in the UK at the moment. Um, I think we're experiencing a bit of a September heat wave, and that's a perfect excuse for some ice cream. Now we've got the um, small ice cream stand that we built last week in the Toy Story Carnival set where I picked this ice cream up. I know when I go to a, a fairground um, there's normally multiple places where you can pick up ice cream and we haven't built the Diagon Alley um, ice cream parlour yet um, so I thought we would build a ice cream van this week um, because that way it can um, hang out at our fairground but it also can then drive off and, and service the rest of the town and um, bring ice cream to the whole Lego city. Now if you follow along on um, Ian's blog you'll see that he has also made an ice cream van um, the last few weeks. So I'm going to build the Lego City ice cream van that's available at the moment from Lego set 60253 and then I'm going to compare that to the one that Ian has made um, which you can find more details over on his blog I'll put the link in the comments below um, it's a custom design uh, not not designed by him um, but he's reverse engineered a, from a picture that he's seen on the internet um, and they are very different, these two ice cream vans. I'd like to know which one you think fits better in the city and which one you like best. So, first, let's build 60253. <laughs>
Right, so here we are with the finished build. Um, it's a super colourful ice cream van. Exactly what you'd expect um, to see on the streets. And I like the fact that I, I, it's not pink. Um, I'm not sure if that's just me, but every ice cream van that I've been to um, over the summer has been a, a pink ice cream van. Um, so whereas this is just primary colours, so... Um, works quite nicely you can see the ice cream seller in there with the the stripy uniform um in sort of matching colors and the giant ice lolly on the top as well so a nice 3d sign make it really clear what this ice cream van is selling i mean it's it says mr chill ice cream all over it as well so it's it's not like you need that but definitely makes it more exciting Quite a lot of sticker pieces on here and I also like the fact that the the window slides backwards and forwards um, to open. You've also got um, good access to the inside. I'll show you that now. This whole panel opens so it allows you to get your fingers right in there and move bits about you've got some good detail several several different uh, flavors of ice cream there um there's an ice lolly on the floor so even though you can get your fingers in um not easy when you've got fingers my size <laughs> so it's still definitely very playable You've got that standard sticker there, or the standard slogan that you see on ice cream vans, Mind That Child. I'll just show you this sliding across, see? No ice cream for you. Yay, ice cream! Also comes with a, a second minifigure. I, I love this one because it's got a purple skateboard. Um, we also have a dog chasing after him. There you go. And in fact, um, this is a bit that I do like about the set, is that he's got that helmet on there to be nice and safe while he's skateboarding. Um, but I always find it frustrating when you have a a minifigure with a helmet that you once he takes it off, there's no hair. But it does come with a nice hair piece. a lot of texture to his hair there so I think it's a, a really good set it was a really quick build um, not too expensive and lots of playability so it'll fit nicely into our city so let's have a look at Ian's um, ice cream van And you'll see what I mean by it's very different. Now, this is a very hard one to show you without it falling apart. And I don't think this is necessarily a fault in the design. Um, until you've designed something and actually built it and checked... Um, that it all sticks together well it's it's hard to know whether you're you're reverse engineering right so if you look at the the picture he was copying he's done a, a pretty good um copy here but it's fragile really really fragile um so it's not really a playable set um but i think it's beautiful um fortunately it is back to that pink but i think pink is is quite a, a typical shade of ice cream um so it, it makes sense definitely has a certain vintage feel to it this one um and there's quite a lot of detail to the set so i'm thinking that we can keep both ice cream sets um this would fit better in the modular area of the city where the buildings are a bit more vintage um and especially 
with the um fire station having the the older style fire engine this would be in keeping with that so you've got the ice cream de- detail at the front here um and then these speakers for the the music that um parents hate to hear because it means that their kids are going to ask for an ice cream um i know some parents tell their kids that that means they're out of ice cream which is a naughty trick to play on your children but also genius you've got the awning at the side here so that does fold down um but again it's quite fragile and you can see there's a lot of detail inside you've got several ice cream cones waiting to be topped one topped already um the ice cream machine in there um nowhere to put the money but maybe that's below the desk i can't quite see in there if i'm honest um and the ice cream freezer is in there as well you've got this large sign at the top here the 3d sign and that does disappear into the um ice cream van if you want it to i'm not sure why you would want it to but just sort of flips up this then flips back and it tucks away i guess that maybe will give you a bit more clearance if you're going under a bridge so um or maybe that just shows that they've run out of ice cream i don't know um but uh, yeah i really like the bit on the top you've also got some detailing on the back makes it clear that it's an ice cream van um i think the original design had probably different colors at the back here um but ian's gone for these colors i think i struggle to work out what flavor ice cream the orange and purple ones are um i like to refer to them as tutti frutti just because i like saying tutti frutti so maybe black currant and orange but i can't say i've ever had black currant ice cream you've got some detailing at the side as well i think the original design had windows there's no glass actual window um panes but there's no no panes here um ian was a bit disappointed to find that he couldn't get the shiny chrome headlights or he couldn't reasonably get those um without spending a fortune um and also you haven't got some of the printed elements that were on the original design um, there was a nice ice cream st- um sign here so you knew what options you had and um just a, a side sign um that i guess the seller would put out um if they were staying for a while just to advertise um it bothers me a l- little bit also that this um little support doesn't actually touch the floor i don't know if we've missed a brick there and the wheels stick a little bit when you're trying to move it um but it is beautiful um so i'm definitely on board with having it in our in our city so what do you think of these two ice cream vans um which would you put in your city have you ever considered reverse engineering a, someone else's mock? How did you make sure that you had all the bits in the right place? Um, did you find you had fragile builds as a result? I'm I'm super impressed that he's he's managed to create this from from just a picture. Um, but I think if I'm gonna let Leah loose with one of these to play with, it's it's gotta gotta be that newer one. Um, it's just so much more sturdy. Also, if you're interested in buying the newer set, um, there's an affiliate link below um, which will help us um, fund more Lego purchases for this channel. Um, So check that out if you want to buy that. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel um, so you don't miss any more updates. And I'll see you later.